I'm Jake, and this is the Chardon Polka Band. Since I was 16, polka music has been my job. And at that job, I get into some pretty crazy stuff. There's Mitch, Mike, Brian, and Bob. You never know what we're going to do or who we might run into, but we're going to share it all with you on The World According to Polka. Today on The World According to Polka, we're looking at a festival that takes place in Youngstown, Ohio, but draws people from all around the country. It's called Simply Slavic, and it celebrates Slavic culture with music, dancing, food, and so much more. And to help us out on this journey, I have a wonderful co-host, a co-host who is also a table. I am. Uh, Rodina. Hi, Jake. Thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for visiting us on the show. Now, I think before we go any further, we have to ad address the furniture in the room. We do, yes. Why are you a table? <laughs> well, my name is Rodina, and Rodina means family and homeland. And this costume represents the 13 countries um, all coming together to celebrate and have a great time. And what do families do when they come together? They come around the table. I love it. That's a beautiful sentiment and one we are going to revisit throughout the program because that's what Simply Slavic is all about. Now, um, one thing that, that brings Slavic people and all people everywhere together is polka music. Do you like polka music? I do, yeah. It can be found in all the 13 Slavic countries in multiple forms and varieties. I love it. Well, and we're going to experience some of that right now um, with the Chardon Polka Band. <laughs> Today, we're looking at an awesome festival called Simply Slavic. And now, to help guide us through, I have the perfect co-host. You are an expert. You are? Rodina. Now, I want to start with something. Um, our viewers may not even know this term. Um, I know I didn't when I first heard it. Slavic. Yeah, so Slavic is an umbrella term to describe 13 nations in Eastern Europe uh, that came from one Slavic tribe. Okay, so they, they started out as one tribe, then became... 13 nations. Yep. And I imagine that these 13 nations have certain things in common and, and certain things uh, different, like, like language. Like language, exactly. They all speak different languages. Polish, Croatian, Lithuanian, Macedonian, Carpathian, Russian. I'm, I'm so glad you said that because I know you know 
at least one or two of these languages. Yeah, a little bit. And I know you can sing in at least one or two of these languages. Can, yep. All right, would you like to do a song? Yeah, let's do it. What's the song? Swajavechka. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you've just made my day with this beautiful music. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now, what is that song again? Swajavechka. And what is that song about? It is about a girl meeting a hunter in the woods. Bringing people together. That's Definitely. what we That's what we keep telling our audience. Simply Slavic is all about a girl and a guy meet in the woods. That's one way to do it. We're not meeting in the woods, though. We are at the Simply Slavic Festival in Youngstown, Ohio. Now, I want to ask you, before we go on, one more thing about this song, because we've been talking to you a lot as Rodina today. Yep. But you are also my friend, Catherine. I and, am. And Catherine grew up with this, this heritage in her life. Did you ever sing that song? I did, yeah. My dad would play the accordion, and my mom would sing with her friends, and we would all just a big, happy family. I, I love it. So you grew up with all this. I definitely did. And Catherine's whole family is involved in this festival. Here's her sister, Sarah. So give me an idea of what this festival is, is all about in, in your words. It is about coming together, uh, a lot of different Slavic ethnicities, nationalities, uh, sharing what we know, sharing what we've grown up with, what we hold dear to us with other people, and also learning about other people's cultures. That was the Baby Doll Polka with Mike Franklin, Brian Brazier, Bob Young, Mitch Lawrence, Jake Cowie, and Bob Boozakan. 
There was a lot of polka dancing going on in that song, but that's not the only kind of dance that you find at the Simply Slavic Festival. What kind of dancing do we see in the Slavic culture? All different kinds. We see line dances, circle dances, couple dances, chardashes, colos, uh, specialty dances, people showing off, having fun. I love it. Well, to show off some dance moves for us today, we've got a group featured at Simply Slavic, and they're from Illinois, and that group is called... The Tatra Mountain Cultural Foundation. And we're going to check it out right now. This dance is unique to the southern mountain region in Poland. It's a courting dance. You will see one guy goes up to one girl. This is an example of dances that represent traditional life. Men would go up into the mountain as shepherds with their axes. They would show off and dance with camaraderie and cheer. This is an example of kids starting at a young age. He's doing what the adult men would be doing. He gets the basics and is able to grow up into it. He's learning the steps at a young age, learning rhythm. First of all, what's your name? Uh, Jacob. Yep. My name's Jake, too. I'm, I mean, Jacob's my full name. I go by Jake. Do you go by Jake? Uh, no. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So tell me about your group. What's your group called? Uh, Tatra Foundation. And where are you guys from? Uh, Chicago. And do you have to do a lot of work to prepare for this? Uh, sometimes we learn stuff for like the, the, the shows, and sometimes we already know the stuff. <laughs> Of course, you never know who you're going to run into here at Simply Slavic. It's my old friend Autumn, the pierogi lady. What's up, Autumn? Just slinging these pierogies. How many have you gone through this weekend? Probably about 8,000 so far. 8,000. Can I ask you, what, what do you like about this festival, Simply Slavic? I really love seeing the ladies go by in their outfits. They're so sweet. I love how everybody is so festive, and it's just a wonderful festival. And now I'm here with Adam. Adam, and Adam, earlier you were pouring the beer, right, man? That's right. Tell us about the beer. Uh, so we're a brewery called Modern Methods Brewing Company okay. uh, out of Warren, Ohio. This is a beer that we brewed for five years. Uh, it's a fundraiser for the uh, Simply Slavic Youth Scholarship for students at YSU. So we tapped the first cask, you know, opening ceremony. It's available on tap and then it's in uh, a lot of bars and restaurants, uh, grocery stores across the Mahoney Valley. It's a great beer, of course, but ultimately we do get to write a nice check to the scholarship fund. Now, can y'all tell me, I see people coming over here and getting information. What's going on right here? We get a lot of people who come and they're either looking for like Grandpa's Village, uh, where they were from, or they might be asking about a recipe or something. But the, the big thing is, I know the name of my village. Can you help me find it? And, oh, wow. and we'll do, we'll do things. We're pretty good at it, too. We're talking about bringing folks together. What's another thing that we could expect bringing people together at Simply Slavic? Food. I love food. What kind of food can we find at the Simply Slavic Festival? All sorts of yummy food. We have pierogi or pierohe, we have gawumki or halupki, we have kobase, we have chicken paprikash, we have chimney cakes, all sorts. Did you grow up with some of this food? I did, yeah. Uh, during the holidays, we would make the food from scratch. We would make pierogi uh, with sweet cheese filling or potato filling, and then we would also have pickled herring on rye bread called sledge. P pickled herring on rye bread. It's better than you think. Uh, sle Sledge. I love it. Pickled herring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is a pickled polka for you from the Chardon Polka Band. I am here, hiding there, I'm hiding everywhere. I am over here, and now I'm over there. Look out! Hiding here, hiding there, I'm hiding everywhere. Yep, Say, down. let's all play hide and seek. Don't stop, Ohio! Let those beaches pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? All right, let's all play hide and seek. Let those beaches pumpkin pie. Who's not ready? All right, let's all play hide.
All right, so that was a song from an incredibly talented uh, group of guys, the, the Chardon Polka Band. Pretty good. I, I don't have to tell you that, but there are other fine groups at this festival. There's other great music at this festival, and I want you to tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, there's all different kinds. There's polka, there's tambora, there's gypsy. Everyone's having a great time. All throughout the, the street you find musicians, and in every nook and cranny there's music going on at Simply Slavic, and I love that. It's great. So Rodina, we have covered music, we've covered food, we've covered dancing, but I want to talk about your this job at the festival, and this job is? I roll around the festival selling shots and bringing merriment. That you do. And it is one of the coolest things I've seen at any festival. When you show up as Rodina, as this table, and you're rolling around and engaging with folks, and I thought, since that's your job at the festival, you might be willing to lead us in a toast today. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, what do you got for us? Givio. Givio? Yep. Okay, and that is? Uh, cheers or to your health in Croatian. All right, I'll take, I'll take Givio. I got it. Now. Uh, to health and happiness. To traditions here in Ohio and the rest of the world. Stolat and Nazrovia. Givio. Oh, that's polka, folks. Shoes and start losing the blues. This son house ain't got nothing to lose. It's ain't in a bunny year. She starts spreading the news. Get on the floor and shimmy to the shakes of the blues.
All right, we are having a total blast today, but I want to drive this point home for anybody watching. Rodina's not just about drinking shots. Reiterate for us again, what is Rodina? So Rodina means family, and Rodina means homeland, and I'm Rodina. And now, your garb, your ensemble, is the ensemble of a... Bride. This bridal outfit brings together many Slavic elements, including a headdress with both Russian and Ukrainian influences, a Slovak-inspired blouse, red beads on the outfit that point to Polish heritage. This bridal outfit and the wonderful woman who wears it both serve as a celebration of Slavic culture. And so does this next part of the festival, which we will be discussing now. Now, Rodina, I want you to tell us about the, the finale of the festival. What brings everybody together? Yeah, the Vatra. It is a bonfire in the center of downtown. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a fire that celebrates the summer solstice in Slavic culture, right? Yeah, everyone's coming together, dancing, singing, musicians. It's a great time. And there's also a story that goes along with it, right? Correct. It's the three brothers representing the three tribes of the Slavic nation. And you guys, your family, let me be a part of this story this year. And it is literally my highest achievement as a polka musician. I want you to know that. And we're going to show some footage of the Vatra. And, and you're going to tell us a story while we're watching. Perfect. Let's do it. The legend goes that they were three brothers, princes of the Slavs land, Lech, Czech and Rus. One day they went hunting together. During the hunt, they split up, each taking a different direction. Lech went north and encountered a white eagle at sunset, taking it as a sign that he should stay, becoming the kingdom of Poland. Czech went west and found fertile land in the central Bohemian flatlands, raising a family that would become the Czechia nation. Rus went east, and along with those he met along the way, would become the peoples of Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine. They each followed their own destinies, which led them away from each other to become fathers of different Slavic nations. While in legend the brothers never met again, we're imagining a reunion for them tonight. Vlech arise from the north, Czech from the west, and Rus from the east. And in our roles as the three Slavic brothers, we light a bonfire in the center of Youngstown, Ohio. Tonight, the three brothers celebrate the summer solstice. like to think that we made the three Slavic brothers and the nations they represent proud as we brought folks together tonight. This has been another installment of The World According to Polka, where we've been looking at the Simply Slavic Festival in Youngstown, Ohio. Now, Rodina, is there anything else you'd like us to know about this terrific event? Yeah, our festival is about bringing people together and celebrating the Slavic countries, so I invite everyone to come down in June and have a great time. And I have had a great time with my friend Rodina here at the PBS Western Reserve Studios in Kent, Ohio. All right, you want to send us off? Doza Bacenia! Until we meet again. All right, here we go. Rodina, Catherine. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. So
someday you leave me for somebody new. Worry, why do I sit here and worry? Wondering what in the world I need to do. My favorite chord, crazy. And then my love could hold you I'm crazy for trying And crazy for crying And crazy for loving you